Okay. So now Middle Africa has collapsed. And let me just look at my focus tree for a second. Okay. So it's February 1st of 1940, and Middle Africa has collapsed. So now it's time for me to rearrange my battle plans in Africa. Okay. Let's start with Angola. Hang on. Okay. So my main goal with to expansion in Africa. Okay. So my main goal in regards to expansion in Africa is basically recreating the pink map, which I believe I explained earlier in this playthrough was a map which basically showed Portugal owning this land right here and connecting the coasts of their colonies of Angola and Mozambique. So it's my goal to conquer Nyasaland, Zambia, and Barostaland. And basically create a land connection between Angola and Mozambique. Angola, uh, Angola in West Africa and Mozambique in East Africa. So finally, Portugal can have this important land connection that Great Britain prevented from happening back in the 1880s and 1890s. And maybe I'll take over some other land in Africa as well. So with that out of the way, let's get started. I'm gonna set Army 3 here. Army 4 here. Hang on. So my armies in Angola have been taken care of. Now from Mozambique, I'm going to have Army 5 here and Army 6 here. Okay, the collapse of Middle Africa. Disturbing reports are emerging out of the various parts of Africa that are under German rule. It seems that the Middle African administration has collapsed entirely. It is unclear why or how, but the administration, usually regarded as efficient abroad and known for its lavish expending, is no more, as the central government no longer can act. Conflict sparks across the continent as the various kingdoms, tribes, and protectorates that comprised it now fight amongst themselves over new claims and ancient grudges. And cliques of Ascari and German colonial officers attempt to keep a semblance of normality. Whether this state of affairs is passing, or a dark age of violence is truly beginning in Africa, it is uncertain. However, it's safe to say that the colonial mission of the German Empire has failed. The Huns had it coming. Okay. Okay. So this is what, um... Middle Africa has become just a collection of different African nations and tribes and warlords fighting amongst each other. And the German colonial government has escaped to Sudwest Africa, and their governor is now Heinrich Kirkheim. Heinrich, Heinrich Kirkheim. Heinrich Kirkheim. Hope I pronounced that right. So yeah, Middle Africa has completely collapsed into many different warring states. Okay, this is a bug. Let me just fix this. Thank you. 
Portugal, allow, turn off allow Diplo, um, okay, now let's see how our armies in Africa will turn out, okay, they're still setting up, and Germany's last colony in Africa is uh, Madagascar, and some islands in the Indian Ocean, like uh, Comoros, Reunion, Mauritius, and the Seychelles. And this, who owns this island? Okay, Diego Garcia is owned by Germany as well. But these lands were never a part of Middle Africa to begin with. They were administered directly from Berlin. Same with uh, Djibouti and Berbera. And of course the Suez Canal land which now belongs to Egypt. Okay. okay, Sardinia declared war on the Socialist Republic of Italy. So now the Entente is involved in the Second Belt Creek. Okay, the Dominion of India is now at war with the Agrarian Revolt. So it's only a matter of time before India goes to war with the Bharatiya Commune as well. And yes, I'll accept Canada's offer and I'll join the Second Belt Creek. And it is now the 9th of February, 1940. Okay, there's already fighting along the Spanish and French border and the Sicilian-Italian uh, border. Okay, my battle plans in Africa are looking pretty good. Okay, this is border gore, but this usually does happen when Middle Africa collapses. And Muscat has joined the Entente. Uh, Muscat also being known as Oman. of Dahomey, which was once oh, sorry, the Kingdom of Dahomey, known in the modern day as Benin, uh, which was once a French protectorate, has joined the Entente, and is now a puppet state of the French Empire. So that's interesting. That usually always happens after Middle Africa collapses. Yeah, I'll accept this equipment from Canada. Okay, Armenia has joined the Golestan Pact which is a faction between the Republic of Iran and Armenia. That's interesting. So I think Iran's no longer in the Cairo Pact. I don't think they ever... I forget if they were ever a member to begin with, to be honest, but whatever. Okay. I'll accept all that. Real, e depois 
descantou-se o fado. I'll sign a non-aggression pact with Germany, and Iran has declared war on Azerbaijan. Okay. Now I know which focus to go for. Angola and Osa. Angola is ours, we will shout, it's our meat and blood. With no hesitation, we defend and fight until we win, for Angola is ours. Game-based stability plus 20.00%. Okay. And after this focus, I will go for this focus. Snatch Zambia. Which will give me war goals. Yeah, this focus will give me an X war goals against both Borostaland and Zambia. Sure, why not? Yeah, I'm surprised Ethiopia hasn't capitulated yet, but they probably will soon. And yeah, um, Somalia has taken over the Somali lands in Kenya after Middle Africa collapsed. So now uh, we have a bit of a Greater Somalia here. Okay, we basically do have Greater Somalia here. The point still stands. So this is basically Somalia at its zenith. Okay, what the heck? That makes no sense. I'm sorry. I'm really sick of these bugs sometimes. Last time I have to do this annoying thing. Thank Jeebus. Back to Portugal. Alright, let's continue. So now, Portugal is a member of. Oh, well, now. Since Portugal is a member of the Entente, Portugal has been involved in the Second Belt Creed for quite a few weeks now. But um, there's really not much for me to do in Europe. At least for now. I am planning on assisting in the invasion of uh, the Union of Britain. But in regards to France... I don't know, there's not much I can do. I, I could send soldiers to the Spanish border, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I could try a naval invasion of the northern French coast in Brittany or something, but I don't think that would work out. It's too heavily defended. So I might send some guys to the Spanish border. I'm not sure. You know what? I think we'll just send these guys over here just to, just to show that I'm uh, willing to uh, contribute to the war effort. Army 1, they'll, uh, yeah, Army 1, I'll just save them for the invasion of Britain. That will inevitably happen later on. Yeah, I'll accept that. Okay. So, 
back to Africa. You know what? I'll worry about Africa uh, after some focuses are done. But I still do want to see how the borders develop. Same with the borders in uh, Europe with the second belt creed. Yeah. The international in this playthrough is pretty small. So this this uh, second belt creed shouldn't last for too long. Yeah, I'll research construction too. Okay, that's interesting. Not enough equipment. Okay, Zanzibar has joined the Cairo Pact. Interesting. Yeah, what I definitely need is... I need to change something. I need to go for a war economy. Okay, as I was saying before, I need to have a war economy. Or I could have early or partial mobilization, but I think I'll save my political power for a war economy. So I'll save up my political power for later. Aggression Pact, and I'll accept just all this equipment. Okay, Germany, East Africa is still invading um, Normandy. That's interesting. I guess Helma von Muck is a very good admiral, what can I say? Okay. How's Africa going? Jeez. So Garen Ganze, which is um, centered in the Katanga region of the Congo, has um, conquered Zambia. So I'll have to go to war with them at some point. That was dumb. I guess the Dominion of India got involved in that war for nothing, but whatever. Let me research. Okay, Canada's already invading um, southern England. I think I'll do my part as well. 
So I'm going to send Army 1 to General Jose Agosto Alves Rosadas to invade the English region of Cornwall. Let it not be said that I'm not uh, pulling my weight here in the second belt. Come on, Canada, don't steal my thunder. I want to have some glory here. Now yeah, accept this. Alright, boom. My soldiers have landed in Truro, in the English region of Cornwall. Was now, Canadian General Bert Hoffmeister is fighting against the British General George Sutherland Aitken. Let me see if I can help out in that battle. Vamos. Okay, I guess Canada decided to give up. Onde ir. In fact, let me send this guy and his army back to Why are the orders? Maybe I'll have him invade Wales. Swansea. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's, uh, we're going to show Oswald Mills who is in charge here. And, uh, we'll, uh, proclaim the birthright of the, uh, House of Windsor. Uh-oh. Vamos. Okay. Vamos ao corrente. Darn it, Canada. You disappointed me. Uh -oh. Okay, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Japan declared war on Qing China. That's not good. But at least Canada... Okay, Canada's already invaded the Isle of Man. Now they just have to invade the rest of Britain. And I'm still holed up in uh, Cornwall. And in the, uh, the city of Truro, so that's good. Now I'll sign a non-aggression pact with these nations. Okay, so the French Empire has begun invading the south of France, and they've already landed in Marseille. Now, the Barcia Commune is sending over volunteers to the French Empire. I guess they're betraying the revolution. I don't know, that's, that's weird. It makes no sense. There's even a rifle division from the Commune right here in Marseille.
let's look at what this looks like. Okay, Somalia completely annexed um, Abyssinia, aka Ethiopia. That's interesting. Maybe they'll release Eritrea as a puppet state. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, awesome. Okay. So Eritrea is a puppet state of um, Somalia, and so is Ethiopia. But it's not called Abyssinia anymore, it's called Ethiopia. Let me just do one thing. There we go. I just wanted to have this leader instead of the generic uh, leader. And this is the leader of Eritrea whenever I'm, uh, Eritrea revolts against Ethiopia, aka Abyssinia. Okay. So yeah, the, the, chiropract, uh, the Chiropact is uh, looking pretty blessed right now, I'm not going to lie. Much better, I, I like this much better than the uh, victorious Ottoman Empire, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, let's return. Okay, I'm done with this focus. Snatch Zambia. Because of their thirst for earthly riches, the Germans have completely failed in their duty. They've alienated their subjects within Africa, and the continent itself is in a state of disarray the likes of which has never been seen before. We can capitalize upon this opportunity and expand our empire, which will see the unification of our African provinces. Effect. Gains an next war against Zambia and Baruchsaland. Kingdom of Congo isn't doing um, too bad either. That's pretty good. And what happened with Gabon? Okay, Gabon apparently stayed a democratic country. We'll accept these non aggression. Why did that just happen? Man, Brazil, what were you thinking of Brazil? I thought we were friends. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Hang on. That's weird. Okay, we'll just, uh, do this over. Man, I don't know why Brazil went to war over the whole freaking, um, West Indies Federation. I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Usually when Brazil becomes the Empire of Brazil, they ally with the Entente. But I guess here they're not interested. It doesn't make much sense if you ask me. This has to be a bug. I don't know why this event keeps popping up. Okay, let me just do this again. Let me attack these British, uh, British soldiers. Let me attack these British soldiers. Let's do this again. Okay, maybe the Canadians can take Bristol. Correct. Let me 
send out some of my navies to the English Channel. Let me send out Admiral Canto e Castro to the English Channel. And I'll do the same with Manuel Sarmento. What's this guy's name? Man oh, Manuel Sarmento Rodriguez. Manuel Sarmento Rodriguez and um, Americo Tomas. I think I have another fleet. And obviously this guy here, or that fleet there, whatever. Okay, um... They, they already took the Isle of Man. I think I pointed that out before. I don't want Brazil to go to war with the young people, to be honest, but I don't know why that would happen. should do is this, join the Entente. I don't know why they don't, but whatever. Right, back to Portugal. Makes sense that the Cuban and uh, Lucifone empires are part of the same faction, and not fighting each other. Okay, let's go back to the Portuguese invasion of the
Vai onde aí? Guarda as suas ordens. One thing I gotta do is send General Jaun Estevan Aguas back to La Coruña, or La Coruña, and I'll have him go to, I guess, Wales. He's more needed in Plymouth, to be honest. Guarda as suas ordens. Sem problema. Zambia. Let's go. Just gotta wait 56 days. Not too long. Okay, what's going on? Oh, this is good. <whistles> Chang has joined the Reichs Pact. Interesting. Now Japan and Germany will be at war. Interesting. Okay, it looks like Paris should fall soon, because Germany, Flanders, and Wallonia are doing very good, invading France. Quais são as suas ordens? Diga-me o que tenho de fazer. Was our thing. Let me pick a better place for this naval embarkment. So that's good. Neverland. I just gotta wait how many days for that army to prepare? I think like 20 days or something, 21 days, something like that. Pode contar conosco. Gotta take one in, but it's not gonna be easy. What happened to my fleets?
but now they're invading more warriors. They might take swarms of Russia and Mongolia. Okay, that's interesting. So now Canada is invading Scotland. They've already taken over Edinburgh, and they're probably going to take over Glasgow soon. Was Empire is invading. 
invading uh, the region of Aquitan. Very well. It's General Alphonse Jun against no commander, which is interesting. There's no commander down here anyway. Didn't think the coming of France would be that disorganized, but whatever. It's only a matter of time before they fall. They're they're basically surrounded on all sides, except for their border with um. Switzerland and their border with the Socialist Republic of Italy. Okay, back to Thumbs up Rin. Search um, Marines too. Okay, good thing Denmark didn't try and leave the Reichs Pact. pink map. Because of the anarchy that has taken a hold of Africa, we may finally achieve the old goal of the pink map and exert control over vast swaths of land between Angola and Mozambique. While the war in the savannas, mountains, and forests will be a trying one, we fear not, for fortune favors the bold. Effect. South Zambezia, Nyasaland, Katanga, and Rhodesia claim gained by Portugal. Now I'm ready to go to war in Africa.
All right, it is June 13th, 1940. And I'm going to declare war on Borotsdaland, led by Yata III, who I believe was a tribal chief. All right, declared war on Borotsdaland. Now I'm going to declare war on Nyasaland, led by Hastings Banda who in real life was the first president of Malawi. Nyasaland is the old name of Malawi. That's what it was known as when it was a British colony. No, I don't need to do that. Hang on. I thought I had a goal against it. Okay, you know what? I have to wait for this focus to finish. So be it. Yeah. No, I'll just be patient. Okay. Quais são as suas ordens? Pode contar connosco. So have General Antonio Vitorino da França Borges. Guarda as suas ordens. General Antonio Ascar Fagosu Carmona. In Angola, ready to go to war against Borotsaland. Sim. Quais são as suas ordens? Well, I can't annex Zambia because they've already been annexed by Gondanze. So, let's, let's get this war started. Okay, already I'm doing very good. Canada wants to help. over the capital of Lusaka, which is like, that became the capital after I took over Mangu. And now my armies here are doing better, so that's good. Sai on the with General Frederico da Costa Lopez da Silva. And the general who can perform to the best of their ability. I'll bring Borges back. Hello, Glenn.
Quais são as suas ordens? Quais são as suas ordens? Diga-me o que tenho de fazer. Pode contar connosco. Pode contar connosco. Considero como foi. With Field Marshal, ah, uh, with Field Marshal Norton Matos, or uh, Norton Matos, as leader. Considero como foi. So let's just, no, let's do that. Okay, perfect. And I'll accept these non-aggression pact. Awesome. Quais são as suas ordens? Vamos! Quais são as suas ordens? Uh oh, that's not good. The Argentine commune took over Bolivia. Diga-me o que tenho de fazer. Tudo precisa. Rusaka should fall any moment now. Sim. Considero como feito. Onde aí? Tudo que precisa. Tudo que precisa. A Borstalan should capitulate any moment now. And the pink map has been partially recreated. I do have finally a land connection between the west coast of Africa in Angola and the east coast of Africa in Mozambique. It's a tiny land connection right around Lusaka, but it's a land connection nonetheless. But now I gotta worry about going to war with Nyasaland. Pode contar connosco. O Congo está fazendo muito bem, então estou feliz com isso. 
because they can become a puppet. Uh, they, they, the Kingdom of Congo, they can become a puppet state of Portugal. Yeah, I'll send Guardos to the up here just in case they decide not to comply. Ash to the Guardos to the I'll conquer Nyasa land, then I'll go for Garanganze. Quais são as suas ordens? If the South African revolt wins, um, I'll just declare war on them. And then I can maybe bring South Africa back into the Entente. Those are some weird borders. factories and build the equipment I need for my units and soldiers. When I'm done with this part of the focus tree, I'll definitely take some more um, industrial focuses. Pode contar conosco. Quais são as suas ordens? As suas ordens. Pronto para ação. Yeah, if I'm gonna go to war with um, Nyasaland first, let me focus these armies on Nyasaland, and then I'll focus them on Ganganze. Or Katanga. Uh, Katanga's easier to say than Ganganze. But whatever. Remind the Manikongo of his duty. Since the Manikongo refuses to pay his tribute, 
and does not recognize us as his overlord in accordance to previous treaties, it is high time to remind him who are the master of Congo. It is high time we remind him who are the master of Congo. And Congo will get the event Portuguese demand the many Kong to bend the knee. Okay. So yeah, in the past, the ancient kingdom of Congo, located in both the modern day nations of the Congo and Angola, was a puppet of the Portuguese Empire. And um, the king of the Congo continued to reign, at least in a nominal, nominal role, up until the early 20th century. So it only makes sense that now that the Congo is independent again as its own kingdom, Portugal would want to have control over it. Oh, and apparently Gabon has now become the communist Gabon. So it's now become a radical socialist nation. I might take care of them later. Maybe I'll even... Maybe I'll even give them over to uh, France. Okay. So what's this? Katanga prepares its defenses. Fearing a full-scale invasion of their territory, the Garanganze are fortifying their capital at Hermannstadt and enlisting as many foreign aid as possible. While they still won't be able to stand up to our army, they are going to hold out as long as they can. Continue preparations. Okay. Hopefully they won't be too hard to take over. Okay, I think now... Okay, well, I have the claim to Nyasaland, but I still gotta go to war with them. It only takes six days. So, on the 12th of October, 1940, I will declare war on Nyasaland. Canada's not doing too bad in being the Union of Britain, but, uh, sometimes I can help them out, but at least I tried. Maybe I'll, uh, help out again later. Who knows? Okay, so it looks like Russia took over Azerbaijan. And apparently Iran is helping out, um, the Internationale. Probably just to stick it to, uh, Germany, basically. I think Iran and Germany were like, I guess, fighting over the whole um, Azerbaijan thing. So I think Azerbaijan was under German protection. Second modest revolt. The Sudan, this is interesting, the Sudan has long been known as a land of religious firebrands and fierce peoples. The fact that even the British Empire at its peak was forced to discover at the end of the last century. Now it seems that the Egyptians are once more facing a serious revolt in the southern region, led by Abd al-Rahman al-Mahdi, the son of Muhammad Ahman, the Mahdi of the original 1881 rebellion. Calling for God-mandated resistance against the Egyptian occupiers from a balcony in Khartoum, Abd al-Rahman's powerful rhetoric has contributed to a total breakdown of Cairo's rule in the region. But it is unclear whether he has the backing of most of Sudan's tribes. It is clear that a brutal war lies ahead. This should be good. Okay, I've actually never seen this happen before. This is interesting. Well, the rest of the Cairo Pact will certainly be able to help Egypt out. And Abyssinia still hasn't been defeated yet. It's only a matter of time, though.
surprised um, the Argentine continent hasn't joined um, the International. Maybe it's because they're totalist. They decided to not join. And now Bolivia is a puppet of the Argentine continent. And Tristan uh, Marov is a leader of Bolivia. I'm surprised the Argentine continent isn't going to go to war with either. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Argentine Army went to war with either Paraguay or Uruguay in the future. Uh, Uruguay is under um, uh, well, That's probably because Uruguay and Paraguay. No, Uruguay is under Bolivian, I'm sorry, Uruguay is under Brazilian protection, but Paraguay isn't. So I think Paraguay would make it an easier target for Argentina. I guess Peru, Ecuador, Venezuela, I guess they're the only democratic nations left in uh, South America. Well, the West Indies Federation, too. How can I forget about that? Looks like Mexico is about to take over in uh, Central America. already um, doing uh, pretty good against Sudan. Ethiopia should fall soon, though. They should fall soon. Okay, it looks like Congo's taking over on uh, Gabon. decided to cancel their lend lease to me. And Flanders is being led by Corel, who, um, that's the Dutch version of Charles, I believe. And, uh, yeah, basically, um, Flanders is being led by Charles, Count of Flanders, who was the younger brother of King Leopold III of Belgium. He was also the younger son of King Albert of Belgium, King Albert I of Belgium. But, uh, Belgium is no longer a thing here. We just have Flanders and Wallonia, and Wallonia is a republic. But Flanders is a kingdom or a duchy. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, whatever. Let's. let's see. Okay, Canada's doing very good. Central America. Okay, Mexico has taken over Central America. And they've made Central America, or Central America, a totalist nation. Let's go down to Africa for a second. Russian Empire declared war on Georgia. And Georgia is still under the totalist dictatorship of Lavrenti Beria, so can't say I feel sorry for him. Even though Russia is an autocratic state, so they're not exactly a free country. That's something of an understatement, but whatever.
delays are canceled or when this week. Not exactly sure why though. I guess it just expired. Yeah, I'll solidify control. Okay. This focus will give me more building slots and military factories. These focuses also give me a lot of more industrial benefits as well. Okay, I'll go with expand the navy. For far too long, the Royal Navy has consisted of little more than mere escort vessels for convoys. However, with current tensions beginning to rise and war looming above us like an unwelcome shadow, we must prepare our shipyards for the potential conflicts that may come our way. And I'll get one building slot and one naval dockyard in these two more. Hang on. Okay, never mind. Okay, everything's fine. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. But what is going to be the response of the King of Congo, Pedro the Seventh? I guess they refused. I would have preferred to have them as a puppet state, but whatever. Positively this time. Again. All right. 